For those of you who don't know me, I'm Doc Rob Silver, a holistic veterinarian of over 40 years experience. And today I want to share with you my knowledge to help your pets. I founded the Well Pet Dispensary about 10 years ago to provide natural and low cost solutions for the pet parent. And maybe I'm biased, but the products that we carry on the web, on the Well Pet Dispensary are superior to many of the products that you can find out on the internet. These are products that I've used in my clinical practice before I retired to do education. And they work and they're safe and I can advise you how to use them. So check them out. If you're interested in my Well Pet Dispensary, I've put a link down below. So link, see what you think of the place. Let me know in the comments. I'm more than happy to help you with any product selection or choices for your beloved pet. So what is your vet not telling you about your pet's allergies? You know, maybe they're just giving your pet steroids or antihistamines and hey, it stops the itching, but look at what it does to the pet in terms of the steroids, increasing weight, increased thirst, challenges to the liver that we see with steroids, the antihistamines making them drowsy. Maybe they're using the more modern medicines, Apoquil or Cytopoint, which are effective and are a lot safer than the steroids. But from what I've been seeing, many pets it works for, but many other pets works a little bit and then the results start wearing off. So what can you do to manage just allergies in your pet? Well, one solution that I'd like to suggest is to look at several mushrooms which have immune enhancing properties, but which also have components in them which act like antihistamines. So one mushroom that has these antihistamine like properties, and I've mentioned it before in another video, is the the reishi mushroom, this beautiful shiny skin lacquered mushroom. And the reishi mushroom has these molecules in them called triterpenes. That's part of what makes the mushroom so bitter. And these triterpenes have many properties, but some of them have antihistaminic properties. They stabilize the membrane of the mast cells, which are the immune cells that when they release the histamine, it creates all the symptoms that we see with allergies, the runny nose, the itchy skin, the redness, and so on. So reishi can be very good in that regards because it has that antihistaminic property, but it also has the beta-glucans, which are the immune modulating components of the mushroom to help balance that immune system. Because we know when a pet has an allergy, that it means the immune system is overreactive to things. And the beta-glucans can help to settle the immune system down without suppressing it, so like steroids do, so that you can have a more balanced approach to these allergies. You know, allergies are funny because the body reacts in a way as though it's life-threatening and dangerous. And yet it's just what a little grain of pollen or something like that. So we just want the immune system to shape up and fly right, you know, and mushrooms can do that. The second mushroom that we find works well with the reishi is called chaga. And, you know, technically it's not really a mushroom. Chaga is the mycelium of the fungus that grows into the bark of the birch tree. And that's what we see here, the reaction of the bark of the birch tree to the mycelium. So this contains the mycelium and wood. We can grind it up, we can make tea out of it, we can eat it and ingest it. It's an ancient remedy used by many native peoples to treat cancers and to treat immune system problems like allergies, a variety of applications for this chunk of wood. And the nice thing about it is because it's kind of woody, it's kind of bland tasting. So most pets would be willing to take it in a powder form mixed in with their food. It also has these antihistaminic properties that we find with the reishi. Maybe it would be best to put those two together in a formula, maybe add a couple of nutraceuticals, add some fish oil. And of course, probiotics are very important when it comes to allergies. And one thing that we know about mushrooms is that they feed the good bugs in the bowel. We call the good bugs in the bowel the microbiome. We want the microbiome to be healthy by having only the good bugs. So mushrooms can help with that as well, which can ultimately help with the expression of allergies in your pet. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to follow me. And hey, don't forget to click on that bell for notifications. So next time I drop a video, because I'm planning on dropping videos frequently with these educational messages for you, you'll be informed. And let me know what you think of this. Use the comments and let me know what your thoughts are. I'm happy to help you any way I can.